also recognize Cruise Control. I really enjoyed the music before the start of the show. Uh, um, frankly, you know, baseball season just started, and I feel like this is getting called up to the to the Santa Cruz Tech Big Leagues. And um, I feel that for me, if uh, we begin, I thought it was appropriate to start with um, a photo that I have on my desktop on my computer. It, this was uh, taken about 35 years after the uh, Santa Cruz Municipal Wharf was built in 1914. My mom, mom is second to the left. And if you notice the view, that was about 10 uh, years before Jack O'Neill started his surf shop right on this spot down here in 1959. And about 15 years um, before the Dream Inn started here. And so I just wanted to bring that up in the standpoint that you know change happens in a community. And sometimes we evolve and make decisions and start to move forward in ways that sometimes aren't necessarily apparent at first glance. And so things aren't always the way we are. And so I was asked to kind of give an update as, as far as what's happening in the city. And so moving from that, I want to talk with you about the city's work to kind of look forward into the future. Back in June of 2017, the city uh, adopted a two-year work plan. We had a variety of uh, priorities that we looked at as a council. One is looking at public safety. Another is infrastructure, and the third is housing. And I'll talk a little bit more about housing because that was something I felt that um, Doug and some of the new tech meetup team wanted me to focus on in this presentation. In regards to public safety, we've had a variety of updates that have happened recently dealing with um, issues of homelessness in our downtown. We've looked at um, hiring a new police chief, which has happened recently, as well as reorganizing how our patrols happen throughout the city. We've also um, are going to be coming back to council on April 24th with an update in regards to addressing um, the current shelter that's down on River Street that was set up temporarily. We're going to be looking at a longer range plan to have um, a more intensive approach on how we address homelessness in the city. That's something you'll hear about um, at our April 24th meeting and they're part of these work plan structures in relation to public safety and well-being. The second in terms of infrastructure We've looked at our broadband policy in the city of Santa Cruz. Um, we've in the past um, worked with partners to help support broadband infrastructure in the city. I think we have a long ways to go, but if you look at what Cruz I is doing downtown, we're, we're on the road to really kind of look at creating high-speed data networks in our city, and I'm really proud of the work Cruz I has done there, and our city needs to really continue that work, supporting it moving forward citywide. That's part of our infrastructure goal. Another aspect of that is looking at our asset management, how we're able to invest in our infrastructure. We're a city that you know, just celebrated its 150th anniversary about two years ago. And sometimes when we go and do road repairs, we're picking up um, water pipes that are made of redwood. And so I think when we look at some of, some of the infrastructure needs we have, not that those are current function, but we're constantly reinvesting in our infrastructure. And I think over the past several decades, we haven't really kept up with our city needs. And so we're really kind of trying to focus at this point on how we can invest in our infrastructure to make um, a lasting contribution for not only our children, but our children's children as they continue to live in here in our city. The one I wanted to focus on though is housing, because I think that's the one that's been top of mind for many people, not only here, but also through community conversations we've had. The city last year looked at um, adopting a new downtown plan. We looked at raising the heights limits um, in our downtown to accommodate what could be up to another 711 units downtown to have uh, a greater density downtown that supports not only small businesses there, but also creates much needed housing for the community. Much of that is a mix of affordable housing as well as some market rate. We've seen also some projects that are currently online that we're trying to work to make sure that we are doing everything we can to um, increase our housing stock for the community. Oh my God. Some of those heights that you may have noticed, they're going to go up. Some um, are approved to go up to 70 feet in parts of the downtown. And um, that will be something that also will come back to council as we look at projects that we'll be approving um, moving forward. Here's an example of some citywide projects. Um, I know that it sometimes isn't readily apparent that there's uh, progress on some of these goals. I wanted to say that we have over 251 um, units that are currently under construction. You see those citywide down in Lower Pacific and then also up Upper Pacific. We also have uh, some projects on Water Street that have uh, currently um, been approved for construction. So we're really working to try and address our city's housing needs. 
Other projects that are approved, um, there's about 442 dwelling units. There was a project that was included in a recent uh, Sentinel article, 63 units that were 100% affordable. It's very difficult to get some of these projects online, but we are working to try and fund those and make sure that they continue to m work to meet our, our city's desperately needed housing needs. Downtown, these are some of the biggest opportunities, in my opinion, that we want to look at in terms of our city's um, uh, future. We've looked at, there's 94 units at uh, 555 Pacific. That's uh, the Boomerang lot. It's down at the lower end of Pacific. As you kind of approach from here, see the, um, the, uh, the, the arena, the Kaiser Arena as you go there. And then um, the 1547 uh, Pacific Avenue, that's 79 units. So those are, those are projects that are under construction and will likely be, um, the, the 555 Pacific will be open uh, this year. It's already um, advertising for rent. The um, 1547 will be um, completed early next year. So those are, those are some projects that are coming online. Um, other projects that we have, we have um, over um, about 342 units that are now uh, under review. So there's a lot of housing that's in the pipeline. And so when we talk about you know, where those needs are, we are as a city really working to kind of get those projects approved, and also seek out funding to make sure that they're, um, they're completed. Um, I just want to say that um, it's important for each of you um, to look at what the city's doing and also really interact with us. Um, I recently uh, gave a presentation at the Elks Club, and I don't know if anyone here is an elk, but when you go in to the, uh, to the, uh, to the, to the, the building there on Jewel Street, they have photographs of um, past city leaders. A lot of them are, you know, streets are named after them and uh, former attorneys, judges, and, you know, each of those, when you go there, they, they had a role in kind of shaping our city's future. Sometimes there isn't that same connection that we have now. There's a lot of social groups, but they're not ne necessarily directly connected to help influence policy. And I really kind of encourage you as technologists and uh, civic-minded individuals to kind of harness that energy you have, not only in technology, but help to shape where the city is going in its future. Because many of us that have families and kids here want to make sure that we can create the environment that you know our past uh, generations um, built for them. And I think it's important as a community that we don't lose sight that we are a, a one group with many diverse uh, needs and issues. But as a community, as you kind of work with the city, we want to support kind of moving forward to, to build the types of infrastructure and address the community needs that are going to make us stronger in the future. And as mayor this year, it's a one-year term, and um, many people don't know this, but there is no staff that's assigned to you when you get put in that seat. It's you're, you're kind of a, you're, you're, you're put in this role to really kind of help discuss and work with community members to um, highlight some of these needs in the community. And so I ask that you be patient and work with the city to make sure that we are on track and that you continue to communicate with us um, from a way that you know, can help to move our community forward. So again, I wanted to thank um, the New Tech Meetup group for inviting me uh, here. And uh, I'll be around. I'm going to listen to all the presentations tonight. So if there's anything that you wanted to talk with me about, I'd be happy to speak with you or uh, check in with you later.